we're going to learn about Sigmund Freud. Did you say Sigmund Freud? Sigmund, we're learning all about you in our psychology class. You're nominated as one of our, uh, as one of the best psychologists of all time. I mean, I am the best. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Sigmund, aren't you like the founder of something called like psychoanalysis? Yes. Yes, Jamal, I am. That is the branch of psychology that I created, and it aims to treat mental disorders by investigating the interaction of the unconscious and conscious elements of the mind through different techniques. Can you explain those techniques for us, Sigmund? That was very interesting. It makes a lot of sense now. Yeah, I agree with you, Jamal. Why, thank you. That's very true, Jamal. My main theory of personality consists of three parts, and that is the id, ego, and superego. This is your id. You know that feeling when you want something and you want it now? That's me. <laughs> Pleasure principle. I'm impulsive and unorganized. Your id is biologically driven and is located in your primary unconscious mind. Picture me as the devil on your shoulder. And I would be your superego, also known as your consciousness. I determine bad from good, moral issues, and my ideas are not realistic. I can be found in your conscious and unconscious mind. I would be known as the angel on your shoulder. I would be known as your ego. I deal with everyday issues of life, govern your id and superego, and would be out your reality principle. You see, I must satisfy the superego's need, but in the most realistic way, and the id's needs in the most moral way possible, but still by getting both uh, parts of personality satisfied. Doctor, what are your thoughts on the composition of a person's personality? Well, my theory on that is that it is the psychosexual stages which control a person's personality. Well, unfortunately, I must do some other things, so I will allow my colleague Carl Jung to explain that for you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Carl Jung, and although I didn't agree with most of what Freud said, here are psychosexual stages. The oral stage focuses on the mouth. It takes place from birth to 18 months and involves teething, talking, and putting things in your mouth. The anal stage focuses on the anus. It takes place from 3 to 6 years old and is when a child learns potty training. This stage teaches kids to curb freedom and establish social control. The phallic stage focuses on the genitals. This is when the child learns the difference between the sexes. The latency stage focuses on the past stages being repressed. This takes place from 6 years of age through puberty. Sexual desires are pushed behind and the child begins exploring the world and learning new skills. The genital stage also focuses on the genitals. This occurs from puberty throughout adulthood. Sexual desires are renewed and people seek relationships with others. Freud believed that throughout every person's life they had sexual urges that were satisfied through different stages or phases. Thank you for that, Carl. There are three different parts of your mental awareness. The conscious, Pre-conscious and unconscious. Your conscience is what you are aware of at any given time. It is your awake everyday feelings. The pre-conscience is the easily accessible portion of your unconscious mind. It would include things like phone numbers or what you did yesterday. The unconscious mind is your instinctual elements as well as repressed and censored memories. Your earliest childhood memories would be parts of your unconscious mind. Well, well, as you've already found out from this video, I am clearly the best psychologist ever to have existed on this planet, and most likely who will ever exist. Thank you very much. Let me get a book,